Hey Scorps, hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel everyone. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot. All right, so now that I have rested, partial label day, most of the day I rested, wanted to take my break. All right, so today is the new moon in Virgo. So this energy is gonna last from now until around the fourth. So it's kind of after going into the shadow period. Okay, so we're going to see what's going on within the next 48 hours doing this new moon in Virgo, okay? Take what resonates with you and leave the rest. <clears throat> if you're new, welcome to the channel. I would love to have you. Definitely subscribe. Make sure that you have your notification bell on. So that's where you'll know when I post readings, make announcements to the community board, or any updates to the channel, okay? All right, Scorpio, let's tap in. Spirit, angels, guys, universe, ancestors. The new moon in Virgo today for Scorpio. What is it that Scorpio needs to know from the September the 2nd through September the 4th? The next 48 hours during this new moon in Virgo. What do we have for Scorpio? New moon in Virgo. New moon in Virgo for Scorpio. What do we have? Thank you. All right, so we have the strength, strength sun card. This card talks about hot chakra opening, empowerment, and compassion. Happiness and truth being revealed. So I'm hearing something coming to the light. Things are coming to the light for you, Scorpio. During this time frame, you may notice that your heart starts to open up. You're not as hurt or bothered by people placing things from your past. The new moon, the new moon is a feminine energy. Moon is feminine, sun is masculine. So, of course, with the sun being here, you may be tapping a little bit more into your masculine energy, possibly both sides, yin and yang energy. Um, the sun is all about illumination, and, of course, it's paired with the strength card. So, that's power, that's resilience, that is seeing things for what they are. This is happiness, this is joy, this is peace, and also things being exploded, okay? Tell me about the sun strength card. The new moon in Virgo. Okay, so we have nostalgia. Memories, this is basically like the Six of Cups in Tarot. So this card talks about missing someone, the past, past life soulmate. Ah, okay. And then we also have Jupiter, action, the planet of Jupiter. Uh, talks about expansion and prosperity. Expansion, growth, pursuing passions, adventure, new opportunities, and fortune. So some good, I'm hearing good luck is coming your way. New opportunities, money, prosperity, abundance. You may be ready to take action on that project you was working on or maybe a, a particular idea, something that you're trying to pursue your goals with. Hmm. So there's a lot going on here the next 48 hours. Now, this nostalgia, you could be reminiscing. Now, I will say this. During the new moon, a lot of old feelings are going to come back up, Okay. This is the season for welcoming in new beginnings. So this is why I talk, tell you guys a lot. Take spiritual baths, cleanse your energy during the new moon. The full moon is all about releasing. New moon is about new beginnings. So I'm hearing highlight. It may be like some type of highlight about the past. Someone who's a past life soulmate or just the past in general. Those feelings may be coming up and you're needing to recognize them deal with them kind of like the steps of healing acknowledge them do your tears crying out it's kind of like going through that hermit stage acknowledging what happened acknowledging your role seeing the issue seeing the bigger picture yeah so that's where you can welcome in that new beginning with that sun card it's illumination and then with that jupiter this is taking action. Now, for some of you, there could be someone from your past that is ready to take action. They're starting to be illuminated about things. Things may be coming to the light for them. Their heart chakra may be opening up a little bit more now. But we will see at the bottom of the deck, truth, expression, new perspective, seeing the truth, clear action, honesty, communication. So this is the Ace of Swords. Okay, in this deck. All right, everyone. So let's talk about it. Let's see what's going on during this new moon in Virgo. 
okay? And of course, Virgo is, the, is an earth sign. So it's um, grounded energy. Of course, Virgo, the virgin, like the 12, like the video I showed you guys earlier. The short where basically the Bible all they talk about is the 12. The number 12 is significant. The Excuse me, 12 disciples, the 12 zodiac signs. So of course, Virgo was the only female energy of the 12 disciples on the picture that we always see of Jesus and the 12 disciples. Each one of those people is a zodiac sign. So the only woman on that picture is Virgo, the Virgin Mary. Yeah. So this is more like tapping into your feminine energy even more. Okay. Male or female. All right. So tell me about the sun strength card, new moon in Virgo. Or Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus placements, Mercury placements. So someone here's heart chakra could be opening. Like I said, truth is being revealed. Yeah. What's the sun? Oh, oh, oh. Uh -uh, too many spirit okay let's take this one the ten of wands in the reverse hmm. whatever is coming to the light whether this is your energy i'm picking up on or someone else regardless of who it is whatever's being illuminated the sun is shining it's like the sun is beaming a light on something from the past or someone from the past or something that's going on in your emotions your heart because it is a moon the sun is masculine energy so this could be a masculine from your past that you're now recognizing the feelings emotions everything that came with this situation so it's like it's being brought up but this is the time for release so you can welcome a new beginning tell me more about the sun strength card release the burdens the baggage the emotional baggage Get rid of things that no longer serve you. All right, seven of wands, yep. Get rid of everything that no longer serves you. The eight of swords. Mm. Interesting. Ten of cups. I heard loss. Someone is lost when it comes to love, relationships, family. Someone is thinking about you or you're thinking about them. Mm. so this eight of swords i feel like this is not your energy this is someone else's energy they're thinking about what you guys used to have things are starting to be illuminated to them as far as the relationship everything that occurred they're thinking they're overthinking they're stuck on this but i feel like you are with the seven of wands here the reverse and the ten of Wands. So you're releasing, you're letting go, you're giving up, you're throwing in the towel, you're not dealing with obstacles, challenges anymore. Now, this also can be where someone is starting to realize that you're no longer holding on to them or this situation anymore. You let go, you've given up, you've thrown in the towel, you're not fighting for this. Hmm. Tell me about nostalgia, memories. September 2nd through the 4th, new moon in Virgo for Scorpio. And of course, everyone, like, comment, share, subscribe. Ooh. Tell me about nostalgia, memories, nine of swords in the reverse. Tell me more. Ooh, why the cards want to be stiff today? Thank you. The Judgment, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Let's stop right here for a moment. Hmm. Ten of Swords in reverse. Hmm. So, Queen of Pentacles. You've healed. Yeah. So, during this new moon in Virgo, you're releasing, you're letting go, you're getting rid of baggage. Some of you guys may have already done a cord cutting or you had someone else to do it. If it, not was, if it wasn't with me, 
you're doing a release. Someone is, I'm hearing ritual, like you're doing some type of ritual. You're releasing, you're letting go. You could be writing on paper, burning it, using a bay leaf, whatever it is. But when it comes to the memories of a past person, you're purging them. But I feel like this person is still holding on to you. The thing is, you've healed. You're not letting it stop you. Uh, whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, like I said, there's definitely going to be a person that was an earth sign, maybe. <clears throat> Male or female. You were dealing with someone who kind of already showed you their colors, showed you who they were, who they'd rather be with, where they'd rather be, being irresponsible, not in alignment with your higher self. They wasn't committed. So you're healing from this. Yeah, you're moving on. You're moving on from someone you feel like is very childish, very immature. Yeah, a karmic. So I'm hearing discipline. Someone who's not a disciplined man or disciplined woman. They're very wild. Jezebel spirit. They tell lies. Disrespectful. You've already seen this person's true colors. Yeah. You're ready to start this new beginning. That's that Jupiter action. Start over. New chapter. You could be manifesting. And this is the time to manifest new beginnings, guys. So I do have my manifestation guide that's available on my website until Friday, September the 6th for the new moon. So I've made it specifically for this new moon season. So it's on my website, CosmicSpiritualShop.com. You'll see the link in my description. So while you're letting go, someone is still holding on to the memories. They still have you on their mind. You're basically making a decision to not let this stop you from welcoming in new beginnings, new love, a new direction, new chapter. You're ready for growth, change. Yeah. You're surrendering. You're letting go when it comes to the memories, the past. You're reopening your heart chakra, just like Spirit said in the other reading. They want you to open yourself up because new love is coming your way. So if you're still holding on to the past, you cannot welcome the new. So this is good. This is good. You're not stressing. You're not losing sleep over anyone anymore. Mm. You're making a decision to surrender. Let it go. Go through that rebirth. Cleanse yourself. Get the help. Whatever assistance you feel like you may need. Some of you guys are calling up on God, your ancestors, everyone that represents you in the spirit realm to assist you with getting rid of that chapter. Mm. Give me one more for nostalgia, memories. So Scorpio, Sagittarius energy here. Some of you guys may have Leo. Oh, sure. It's flew out and flew on the ground. Hold on. <clears throat> all right i don't know why these cards want to act still that's why i'm shuffling it multiple times tell me about nostalgia memories one more card please new moon in virgo Mm, yeah not a cups in the reverse yeah you're i'm hearing you're getting rid of someone someone who just wasn't the person they didn't show up they didn't make you feel like you were important you know just really show you the love that you know that you deserve so you're leaving a past person it may be a water sign cancer scorpio pisces you're leaving it behind the disappointment the hurts the disrespect, the moodiness energy, you're letting it go. I'm proud of you, Scorp. It may have been hard. I'm hearing it was hard for you, but you you did it. Or you're doing it now. Yeah, Pisces energy, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, yeah. You're focused on mastering your own skill. And what I mean by that is this is like mastering emotional intelligence, mastering this could even be self-mastery. Yeah. You can be just working on yourself. 
Mm. You dealt with someone who was a liar, very secretive, very manipulative. I hate to say it now, y'all know I hate to say it, but someone who's kind of like ignorant when it comes to spirituality. They don't know anything about their third eye. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Magician in the world. You're manifested for this cycle to close so you can open new doors. Yeah. The sun, strength, and the ace of swords. This is clarity. This is truth. This is understanding. Knowledge. Yeah. Cutting things out so you can welcome in new. New opportunities. Happiness for yourself. Standing in your power. What is Jupiter? Action. The new moon in Virgo for Scorpio, September 2nd through the 4th. Okay. Ten of Cups. Tell me more. Jupiter, action. Mm -mm. The Magician, look at you. You better manifest. Yes, ma'am. And that's crazy. I just told y'all to get my manifestation guide. Yeah. Manifest. Man, this is the time to manifest. This is the season. We're going into fall. Reap the harvest. Get your, go to your altar. Have everything that you need. Water for your emotions. Your pentacles. For your finance. Your stability. Security. Your sword to communicate. Translate energy. Air travel, that wand for your passion, your goals, your dreams. Mm, the sword, I'm sorry, logical, using your headspace. Have all of those tools that you need. Some of you guys may already have an altar with flowers or something. You have things that are represent each one of the elements. And of course, each one of those elements I name are the zodiac signs. Water, earth, air, fire. And some of you guys may use all of the elements and some of you guys may not. You know? Yeah. You're ready to take action, but you know that you had to close this door from the past in order to take action to manifest the love of your life, the contentment that you deserve, the happily ever after that you want. Continue to manifest these next 48 hours. Continue. You are the magician. Stand in your power. You create your own reality. Yeah. Yeah. Some of you guys are manifesting to find your true love. Maybe even manifesting to, I heard, buy a house. You're ready to celebrate. Cut that ribbon. This can even be a business you're trying to open. Whatever it is, it's something that's going to bring happiness and joy and divinity to your life. Continue to manifest it. Yeah. Tell me more. Jupiter, action. Like, comment, share, subscribe, everyone. But take what resonates and leave what doesn't. That's right. I'm telling you, manifest. Also, get a reading during this new moon as well. I just heard that. Get a get a personal reading. Mm-hmm. Get a personal reading. Yeah. Even if it's not for me, but get a personal reading. Yeah. Magician, Gemini, Virgo, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Virgo. Mm hmm. Staying grounded, go outside, connect with nature, manifest, get a small reading. Hmm. Take this time to educate yourself, learn about things that you never understood before. This is the season, whatever you put out, that's what you're going to get back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh, not the will of fortune in reverse and five of swords. So wow, I'm hearing that now that you're putting your swords down, you're not fighting for this anymore. You're not going back and forth. You're making peace with this situation. Now someone is going to end up getting their karma for causing this separation, this breakup of a friendship, family, whatever this was. Yeah, that's because you left. And now that you're healing, you're not holding on to that hurt no more. You're letting the past go. Oh, baby. They're getting their punishment. Don't be surprised if someone try to reach out to you. Now that you release and let them go. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Scorpio. So this is for the new moon in Virgo. So yeah, the person that from your past could definitely be another Scorpio, um, Cancer, or Pisces. You may have Gemini, Virgo in your chart, Scorpio. Maybe even Sagittarius, Capricorn, or Taurus. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All right, guys. Peace, love, and light, and I'll see you on the next reading. Bye-bye.